When Marconi invented the radio all the way back in the 1890s, I doubt that he foresaw just how much stuff would be flying through the airwaves less than a century and a half later. I mean, it's gotten to the point where there are more Wi-Fi networks operating in the average apartment building than there are FM radio stations to listen to in a given area. So it shouldn't be surprising then that recently the United States FCC decided to open up the six gigahertz band for use, which frees up another 1200 megahertz wide chunk of the spectrum to enable higher speeds and relieve some of that congestion. And the kicker is that they want to approve unlicensed and free use of that band. But here's the thing. As it turns out, the six gigahertz band hasn't been just lying around waiting for just anyone to come along and use it. Large cell phone carriers in the US actually use six gigahertz for backhaul, which is communication between points in their own system rather than directly to consumers. And water and power utilities across the country have said that they also use six gigahertz for their own operations and they don't want a bunch of new traffic coming along and mucking it up. However, this opposition to the plan from utilities and cell providers is being met on the other side by an assortment of very strange bedfellows, including everyone from Google to HP to Broadcom, who's known for manufacturing networking chips. So then what's in it for those guys? Well, the cell industry wants the FCC to auction off slices of the six gigahertz band so that they can bid on them and reserve them for their own use. So then by comparison, Obviously, all of these tech companies would much rather be able to use this piece of spectrum for their own gadgets without having to bid against heavy hitters like Verizon and AT&T. You see, many of these companies envision being able to use the space to enable high speed but short range communications for things like wireless virtual reality, smart vehicle features in your car, faster phone tethering, or casting 4K video to your TV. That all sounds pretty awesome. So the thing is, because higher frequencies can carry more data, but have shorter range, as we explained in this video, six gigahertz has a lot of potential, not just for that stuff, but also for providing current and future IOT devices within the same room with the bandwidth that they need. But would it play nicely with the six gigahertz signals that the cellular industry is oh so worried about? Well. Although there is a proposed scheme called Automated Frequency Coordination, or AFC, that could automatically determine if there's a conflicting frequency in the area and make the necessary adjustments, it would involve having to put wireless products in a database, which would be a pain. So instead, tech companies want to simply keep complicated licensing and database requirements out of the picture entirely, and instead just ensure that their devices just don't use a whole lot of power. The nice thing here is that many devices, like smartphones for example, already operate well below what's considered normal power levels according to the Wi-Fi spec, which should keep similarly designed future devices from interfering with any existing six gigahertz networks. So which side is gonna win out and what does this mean for you, the consumer? Well, right now, the FCC hasn't given any kind of indication that it'll back off its plans to open up the six gigahertz band. And if they proceed as expected, devices that could provide you with one or even two gigabits of throughput per second could hit the market sooner rather than later, meaning you might not have to wait terribly long for that smart fridge to become actually useful. 4K uh, transmission to your smart fridge, right? No? Well, you know what I am right about? The mass drop and Sennheiser collaboration of the HD6XX open back headphones that are sponsoring this video. They've sold over 70,000 of these things and they're an all time bestseller on drop.com. They've got the same great sound as the HD650s, meaning balanced mid range, natural sounding bass and all that good stuff and with a couple of updates. So it's got a 1 8 inch plug for everyday use and comes with a quarter inch adapter for professional users. It features a Sennheiser warranty and new users who sign up on the website that's drop.com, we'll have it linked below, we'll get $20 off. So thanks for watching guys, check out our other videos, leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future fast as possible video, and don't forget to subscribe.